Hello, today we are going to build PID temperature controller for powder coating oven. As usual, controller enclosure parts are cut from stainless steel with laser, and text and symbols are also laser engraved. First important thing is to choose correct amperage solid state relays. It is also important to use something from known brand, because Chinese solid state relays won't handle current from the model name. They just melt or catch in fire, which can be very dangerous. If using solid state relays with heat sink, as I am using in my controller, it is important to apply thermal paste to help with thermal connectivity between solid state relay and heat sink. First, I used 25 amps Chinese fake solid state relays and one of them just melted and failed in closed state. This meant two of the heating elements won't turn off. Now I learned my lesson and to be on safe side, I choose name brand 40 amps proper solid state relays this time. I plan to turn power on and off with four pole relay and switch array. I used one closed loop and one open loop switch to control magnetic relay. I found scheme how to connect things from Google. And as I am not professional, I would not share my own scheme. I just give working principles. All the information is available on Google, basically. The first thing we wire is power. I am going to use three phase power two phases for heating elements and the remaining phase for controller. So the circuit breakers are following. Two pole 16 amp breaker for phases used by the heating elements and two amp breaker for controller. From the breakers, power goes to the four pole normally open magnetic relay. It is operated by 220 volt. From two amp breaker comes two wires, main one goes to the relay, and the second one goes to normally closed switch. From there, next thing is to continue with following wire from normally closed switch to normally open switch. And from the same terminal, one wire also goes back to the fourth pole on relay.
Last two power wires in relay switching circuit are connected as following. One of them is connected from fourth output terminal to switching pole, and the other wire is coming from normally open switch and also goes to the switching pole. With this connection, the power side of switching circuit is now completed. Now the only thing we need to do complete the entire switching loop is add one neutral wire from switching pole to main neutral terminal. If all connections are done properly, then the normally open switch should turn the relay on. It means all four normally open poles are bridged, and all four poles can now pass electricity. Now if we want to turn the system off, we need to press normally closed switch to break the loop powering relay switching pole. The next connections we are going to make is power from two pole 16 amp breaker to the two separate solid state relays. All wires inside controller are stranded copper wires and ones connected with 16 amp relays and heating elements are four square millimeters. In Europe, the AC electric wiring color coding are following phases are brown, black, gray, neutral is light blue and ground is green with yellow stripes. Next step is to wire together two switches. They are used to control heating elements. I have two pairs of heating elements, two elements on left and two elements on right. I designed my oven the way I can separate left and right side with wool wall on center. If wall is placed on center, then the left side has two elements and temperature sensor. And the right side contains only heating elements. So I have to control heating elements in order what won't let happen situation. Where oven is separated with wall sensor on left side and only right side. Elements are turned on. Because if this can happen then the elements on right side won't turn off. Because temperature sensor won't see temperature raise. And then controller thinks oven is still not warm enough to turn heating elements off. Although in fact right side of the oven is already melted down. So what I did is made up two switch array. First wire comes from PID controller to the first switch. From the first switch, output comes two wires. One goes to the solid state relay, what controls left side heating elements. The second wire goes to the other switch and output from the other switch goes to the second solid state relay, controlling right side heating elements. The negative wire goes directly from controller to the first solid state relay and from there the wire continues to the second solid state relay. And now the left switch controls left heating elements, plus adds opportunity to turn on also right elements. In other words, right elements cannot be turned on when left switch is turned off.
Now let's connect lights. This is important for several reasons. The main reason is diagnostics. With these lights, it is easy to diagnose if something goes wrong. If temp won't stop rising when limit is reached and lights won't turn off, then the solid state relay has probably failed in closed loop. Or if the lights won't turn on, then there is something with power or the solid state relay is failed in open state. The other thing is just visual representation how the heating elements are working. And let's be honest, it just looks cool. But the important thing, when I want this diagnostic feature to work as I described, I have to connect lights correct way. First, I need to use 220 volt lights. And the second important thing is how to wire them. So the lights should be connected output of the solid states relay. This way we can see exactly what heating elements are doing. Now all the things what we can wire before installing the controller to the oven are done. Only thing left to do is install the controller and connect temperature sensor and main power cable and heating element cables. First I connect the heating element phase wire to the solid state relay. For this, I take the heater wire and the lamp wire. And because they are different diameter, I have to put them in the same ferrule to be sure both of them get secured properly. Next thing would be to connect heating element neutrals to the main neutral terminal block. And as simple as that, heating elements are wired up.
Now it is important to apply all the safety gear you got, because shit is getting real. Let's press this green button and see if all burns down or lights turn on. Wow, the lights turn on, so I had luck and get some things right there. And now, as I flip the switches, you can see if I flip left switch, I can also turn on the right switch. But if I turn the left switch off, the right also turns off even though I did not touch the right one. And also the power off switch works. I am happy to see I was able to build powder coating oven PID temperature controller with success. Finally, full oven in working action, nice red glowing heating elements, PID controller screen, shows accurate temp and all working perfectly. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up button to see similar videos in the future.